tune in. Thank you for tuning in to the New Lake Grove Sunday morning service. We are located at 23905 Highway 70 East in Heck, Arkansas, where our pastor is the Reverend Calvin Nance. We hope that you will be blessed by this service. God loves you and so do we.
right man to serve right now. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I thank you for my beautiful wife, my companion, Father. Yes. She did a tremendous job on yesterday. Yes. Most of family, Lord. I truly thank you for my family. Thank you for Pastor Nancy, for his lady. Yes. Thank you for all the new Lake Grove, Father. Yes. In the mighty name of Jesus, Lord, Father, we just want to say thank you. Yes. Yes. Lord, you protect from all the, the storms. Yes. Yes. Her calm and danger. Yes, sir. Up and down the dangerous highway. Yes. Going to and fro, Father. Father, I think about those people in Fortnite's Arkansas that went to the grocery store. Yeah. Knowing that would be the last time they went to the grocery yeah. store. But Father, your grace. Yes, yes sir. Yes. Thank you, Lord. Things we don't even deserve. Your mercy. Yes, sir. And we can call on you, Father, any time of the day. Morning, yeah. 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 Like the old song, Father, said the line is never missed. Yeah. Lord, we thank you, Father. Yes, sir. We thank you, Father, for having come away in our life, Father. Yes. I thank you, Lord, for all you've done, Lord. Lord, I thank you for my for my mom, Reverend Patterson, thank you for my brothers, sister-in-law, nieces, nephews, Father. I thank you for everything, Lord. Thank you for the job you give us to provide for our Father. Yes. 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 Oh God, as, as, as I go to and fro, Father, as I get older, Father, help us to get more wisdom. Yes. Help us to live a life in front of our children, Lord. Yes. Help us, Father, yes. to be what you want us to be right now, Father. Yes. 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 Father, I just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Lord, I know we're not perfect, but we yes. want to strive for perfection in all that we do, Lord. Yes. And all that we do, Father, allow us to honor you in all that we do, Father. Well, yes. Lord, because once again, you've been so good, you've been so good, yes. yes. Father. Father, as I, as I look in the nursing home, yes. those behind prison walls, Third world countries, Father. Mm -hmm. Lord, people are starving. Yes. Father, Father, people, let, let people be hungry for your word. Lord. Yeah, all right, all right. Lord, help us right now, Father. Look at those in the hospital, Lord. That could have been any of us. Yes, right. That could have been any of us, Father. Yes. But yet you saw people to be out here once again. I just want to say thank, thank you, Lord. Lord. Lord, open up the hearts and minds of those who, who stutter right now. Touch their hearts and minds right now, Father. Yes. Father, I should bless the new converts who've been yes. baptized yes. today, Father. Yes. Father, yes. Father Keep on letting Pastor Nan preach the word of God. Yes. And Father, keep on letting allowing us, Father, to live a word holy, to draw people to your holy name, Father. Lord, it's a tough road for these young people right now, Father. But if we can put the fundamentals of Jesus in them early, Father, not saying that we're not going to have problems, Father, but they're going to know who to go to when they ask, Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Teach, them in the, teach them right now in the early stage, Father, how to pray to a man. Yes. In season, out of season. In storm, out of storm, Father. Peace and valleys, Father. Life is hard. The one thing about it, Father, the family is already said, this fight is spirit. Yes, yes, we already won, Father. Yes, yes, sir. Every day battles that we fight in life, Father, we got to know that you're more than comforts right now. Father. Lord, you've been so good, you've been so kind, Lord, because we know, Father, one day, one day, Father, if you don't come get us, we're going to meet you in the sky. Lord. Lord, we know that we're living in the last and evil days right now, Father. The Bible is foretelling everything that's happened, Father. Open up our hearts and minds to accept the Holy Word of God. And those that are lost, open up their hearts. Those that have, have strayed away from us, make a way for you to come back to your house, Father. Yes. God, you're coming back for the church, Lord. And, and church is prepared, and heaven is prepared, and prepare prepared our people. Prepare our hearts and minds to your coming. In Jesus Christ's name, I pray. Amen. 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 Amen.
new soul coming to the Lord. Amen. Amen. I'm, I'm excited. Amen. 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 I don't know about you. Amen. Amen. God, good work. And you're not going to do it.
service and we just love the Lord on today. Appreciate him for all his goodness, his love and kindness, his eternal mercy. He woke us up this morning. Let me say that again. He woke us up this morning. Clothed us from the right side. Gave us activities of our limbs, the blood running warm and all things. We just want to tell him, thank you.
in the name of Jesus. Amen. And demon tremble yes. at the name of Jesus. Yes. Yes. Glory to God. Angels bow before him in the name of Jesus. Look be here and let's sit on the house on this morning. All our business to God bless you. God bless you. My prayer, amen. Church friends, as someone was said, will be done to encourage you to live for him. Amen. Amen. Not for us, but to live for him. Amen. Right. Amen. Right. amen. People come to church to see Jesus. They don't come yeah. to see us. That's amen. right. That's amen. right. Amen. You come to see Jesus. Yeah. We, when they come here, they come here to see him. Amen. Yeah. We want to put him on display yeah. because God is love. Yeah. Amen. Let him have no darkness at all.
There's no evil in him at all. No darkness in him. All good and perfect gifts come from him. Amen. I know we ask, how can a good God allow evil things to happen to him? It's not God. Could God keep that? Amen. It ain't God. Because he gets goodness flowing from him all the time. Amen. But he's about to your sin. Glory to God. What Adam did, amen, caused all humanity, amen, to be under the curse. But thank be unto God, amen. But thank be unto God for his goodness, his long suffering, amen. So I, today I can go on and leave any room for doubt, amen. Because when you doubt, it's the opposite of faith, amen. You, we got to trust God. We got to take him at his word, amen. Salvation of the soul. Amen. Glory to God. When you serve under the, 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 the spirit of doubt, I mean, you mean you don't believe God. You don't take him at his word. Amen. We got to take God at his word. Amen. His word is forever settled in heaven. All right. Glory to God. Amen. Amen. So, first of all, we got to understand that when you doubt God, you doubt your Savior. But the Bible says no man can serve two masters. Right. You either love one and hate the other, or despise one and, and hate the other. Amen. So no man can serve. You got to serve God all by himself. Amen. He stands alone. That's right. Glory to God. But tonight, today, I want to leave no room for doubt. Glory to God. No room. And first of all, I want to explain to us on today, amen, that we as believers of Christ, that the death, the burial, and the resurrection of God is true. He was a babe born in a manger. Amen. We need to know that. Amen. Glory to God. A babe born in a manger. That's the truth of the gospel. That we must take account for. Amen. That we must believe in our heart. Amen. For the Bible says faith coming by hearing and hearing by the word of God. I believe God. Yes. And I take him at his word, amen. For right. he said his word, now watch it, will not return unto him for. Yes. Amen. Glory to God. He was born yes. Yes. over 2,000 years oh, ago. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's a fact. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I don't know what they say in the world, amen, and then what they say, that, that ain't true, that fairy tale. Oh, it's the truth. That's right. Unto us a son is given, and unto us a child is born, and the government should be upon his shoulder. His name should be called Emmanuel. Be determined. God with us. Yes. And oftentimes the world will look to doubt that, amen, that a baby ever was born. But we celebrate it every year, amen. December 25th, amen. The birth of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Yes, sir. It left no room for doubt, amen. Yes. You don't have to doubt it. Lord, he testified for himself. Yeah. Read the story of chapter Luke, chapter 2, amen. He testified for himself. The angels testified. Uh -huh. right. Born in the city of David, in Bethlehem, amen. A baby, a child. Angels begin to glorify God, amen. The heavenly hosts begin to worship him. Yeah. Leaving no doubt. Amen. Even the king who sought out to find the baby, amen. But he sought for the wrong reason. Glory to God. The doubt. No room for doubt. We got to believe and tell our children, amen, that God is alive and well. Because there's so much teaching out there nowadays, amen. So much junk out there, yes. That means the Bible to train up a child in a way that he should go. Not the way he want to go, amen. Train him. Teach him about God. About the Lord. Glory to God. From an early age, we've been putting in there. Jesus, 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 Jesus. I, I don't think we want to do that. Jesus, Jesus. Call Jesus, Jesus. Put Jesus in it. That's right. Back in the day, we had a morning bench. Amen. Amen. Back in the day, amen. You would stay there until you could call, call him. This and call him. Tell the Lord thank you. 
we'll call on the name of the Lord. But the Bible says that calling on the name of the Lord shall be saved. That's right. So I want to erase all doubt this morning. Amen. From your heart. That Jesus is the same yesterday, today, and forevermore. For it is his goodness, amen, that we live and move and have our being. It's his goodness, amen, yes. that live in us. Amen. What you see, what you put on this book is the goodness of God. Yes. By his goodness, the Bible says, we're in the Sunday school that we are not consumed. Yes. Glory to God. For the Bible says, all have sinned That's right. That's right. That's right. and come short of the glory of God. Yes. In other words, we all have missed the mark. Yes. But it's the goodness of God. Thank you, Lord. Woo, good God. It, well, it's the goodness of God that you are not consumed. But we could have been in, sleeping in our graves. Amen? But it's his goodness. His goodness. Wake up, woke us up this morning. His goodness. Close us in our right now. His goodness. Giving us the activities all living. His goodness. Glory to God. We are not, he, he, the Bible says the mercy of God is renewed every morning. Good God. New mercy every morning. God gave us not yesterday mercy, but new mercy. That was a given this day my daily bread. Feed me daily bread. Amen. God is able to do that. Amen. If you put your trust in Him. If you don't doubt him, That's right. glory to God. Thank it is his goodness. Yeah. Oh, that we are not consumed. Yeah. When I just think of his goodness, yes. I say, Lord, I thank you. Yes. Thank you. His forbearance, yes. his long suffering. Yes. The Bible says God is long suffering, yes. not willing that any should perish. Think about it. They all should come to repentance. He wants everybody to be saved. He died for the world. That's the truth. So Paul is telling them, say, despise thou the riches of his goodness. Some people look at God as evil. Loving God, let bad thing happen. He don't. Amen. And we need to understand that in the context that it is God is good. Yes. For the Bible says, the Bible says, all good and perfect gift come down from above. From above. God, I want to drill this home this, this morning. God is good. Yes. Young people. Get that down in your spirit. Yeah. Don't doubt that God is good. Yeah. And the Lord is on your side. Yeah. He sees all and knows all. Amen. He knows what you're going through with. As you turn, turn your heart, turn your heart and mind to him. He'll come and rescue you. Glory to God. I'm reminded in the Bible, amen. This 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 guy, amen. Whose son was in Mark chapter 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 nine, Amen. He went to Jesus to um, get his son was was possessed by a devil, Amen. And he went to Jesus. He went to the disciple first, Amen, to cast the devil out of his son. And they couldn't do it. And he said he went to. I think that's the saddest verse in the Bible, Amen. He said, "I brought them to your your disciples to cast the devil out, and they couldn't do it." It's a sad thing. It's a sad thing for folks to come to the church and can't get here. That's right. It's a sad thing for people to come to church and don't, don't get delivered. Don't get set free. But God has given us the power to do it. He said, I brought them. This is what they say. I brought them to know that your disciples and they couldn't do anything. Glory to God. But God has given us the power yes. to tread upon serpents and scorpions. Yes. The church got the power. 
All we got to do is stay connected. That's it. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. Glory to God. We got the power. We need to stay connected to the power source. You want to see a miracle take place? Stay connected to the power source. God will perform miracles. He said, I brought them to your disciples, and they couldn't do anything. Good God from Zion. Mark chapter. He said, He goes to make the verse He said, Bring him to me. Glory to God. Bring him to me. And that's what the church needs to be doing on a day to day basis. Point people to Jesus. Glory to God. Be like Peter and John on the way to the temple. And a silly gold have I none. But such as I have, give out to thee in the name of Jesus. I know a man from Galilee. If you're in trouble, he'll set you free. Look, I don't want to be in the room because you can't doubt God and walk with God at the same time. Amen. You're that courage that was have faith in God. Must believe that he is. And that he's a, he's a reward of them that are seeking. You know, see, sometimes we doubt God that we should be doubting him. You got to really get to know him. Now let me tell you, let me you three reasons why you shouldn't doubt. There's no room for doubt. Let me give you three reasons. I'm going to move on. I'm going to move on to three reasons why. There's no room for doubt. One reason number one is that it's the Lord that called it you. It's the Lord that called it you. Many are called, but few are true. It's the Lord that called it thee. He called Jeremiah. He called Abraham. He called Moses. He didn't want to do the calling. Y'all know he'll be up yeah, your right right It's the Lord that called you. And, 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 and that's why you shouldn't doubt him. That's right. Let me go on this side. Let me go on this side. <laughs> it's the Lord that called thee. Uh -huh. he, and he, this is good. he called you by name. All right. He knows your name. Yes, he does. Yes, he does. Abraham. Abraham, Genesis chapter 12. Leave your father and your mother and go into a city of prayer that I will tell thee. He the one called Abraham. I will make it to be a great nation. He the one called Abraham. And about to Abraham obey. He didn't leave no room for doubt. He knew the voice of God. And God called him by name. And God is calling you by name. He knows It's the Lord that called it thee. And he don't, want you to, he don't ever want you to doubt. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. How many of you go back to that place when the Lord really this six years that experience yeah. with God? Yeah. This exchange with God. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. It was something that was different. Amen. Yeah. And you would never have a that that's one on one. That's right. yeah. That's right. You got to have that, amen. You got, I call it the master road experience. Yes, sir. When you actually see the glory of God, the goodness yes. of God, the forbearance yes. of the Lord, you actually experience God. Yes. And you know that you know that you know. It is He that called it thee. Amen. I'm reminded, I'm going to take all my I'm reminded of, uh, of, uh, of uh, Blind Bartimaeus. And he heard, watch it, he heard that Jesus was passing by. And he began to call out to the name of the Lord. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. And they said, be quiet, be quiet. But more he tried to tell the more he cried out. Jesus, that power in the name of Jesus. When you're in trouble, you call on the name of Jesus. Jesus, thou son of David, have mercy on me. Glory. And the Bible said, Jesus stopped. Said, told his disciples, go get him. Good God from Zion. They went to blind by the man and said, he called it. He, who, Jesus, is calling for you. 
some people, yeah, it's just hard. The Lord is calling you out of the world into the martyr's life. And he knows you by name. And you don't want to leave no room for that. Because I'm telling you, this is how we get in trouble. We begin to doubt that the Lord chose us, called us. Yes. He knows that very hair is on your head. Amen. Amen. He knows your name. Mm -hmm. So he called to us by our name. Right. Then he made this day. You have not chosen me. Yeah. You ain't sitting today because of your goodness, because of his goodness. You didn't choose me. I chose you. Draws him, calls him into it. We will be made called into this marvelous life. Yes, Glory to God. And God trying to get rid of the doubt. Amen. He said, Tell my people, amen, don't doubt. This is not the time to doubt. This time to be sure. To know that you know that you know that you know that God is in control. You've been called by God. Into this marvelous light. Yes. The light that passes all understanding. Amen. That you've been called by him. You've been called. And I'm going to tell you this. You've been anointed. By God. To do the work. That he has called you to do. What you said preacher. You can't, you can't do it by yourself. God anoints you to do the work. The reason you're able to do what you do. Is because you're anointed to do it. I do what I do because I'm anointed to do it. Luke 4 18. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because He has anointed me. You got power in your anointing. It's the Lord that called you out. And the Lord, when He called, He anoints you to do the task. Stop leaning on your own strength and your own ability. Your gifts will make room for you. He called, He anoints. Then he gives power. Yes. Acts 1 8. Go back to Jerusalem and wait until you be endured with power from on high. God give us the power. God give us the anointing. And God do the calling. Glory to God. I'm called by God. I'm anointed by God. And I got the power through God to do the work. Maybe let me say this again. I've been called by God. Been anointed by God, right. and God has given me the power to do the work. That's why I don't doubt Him anymore. I used to, but I don't doubt Him anymore because I've been called by God. And that takes it takes a process that we go through day by day. We need some salt, we need some amen. And I'm finished. I call the cap C A P. Do the call, the anointed, and the power. You've been called, yeah. you've been anointed, and you got power. All right. Let the Lord use you. Yes. Don't reject the call. It's the Lord that's doing the call. Man. Glory to God. And he knows your name. Amen. It's the Lord that does the call. You've been called by God. Yes. For a time such as this. You've been anointed by God. To do the work. Because I don't leave thee nor forsake thee. But I'll be with you always, even to the end of the world. Glory to God. And God give us the power to live this life. You can't live it by yourself, but God through you. Glory to God. Give Lord a hand clap of praise.
Thank you.